Welcome back to the Road Show. This morning in the buzz, we are talking about the all important side hustle. That's right. According to a new career builder survey, millennials aren't uh, opposed to the, pr the practice. The data shows 44% of those ages 25 to 34 and 39% of those 18 to 24 have side jobs to earn extra money. Mm -hmm. That's compared to just 29% of 35 to 44 year olds and 22% of those ages 45 through 54. So I've got us to chatting in the Rocho office this morning. If you could pursue passion on the side, mm -hmm. what would it be? Would it be knitting for you? Uh, you saw. <laughs> No, no, didn't. I would make no money. <laughs> um, I, I think, first of all, yes, I, I'm all about the side yeah. hustle. If there are any opportunities to make more money, because during that age range, you just can't, you can't afford life. Right. Like basic necessities are are such a struggle. Yeah. Um, but I think this stems from the fact that people want job security. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, you may like your job. Um, but a lot of times you you need that to support your family, to support yourself, to make a living. Right. And you take on these side jobs because you also want to do the activities and the things that you love and have a passion for. And maybe, yes, they can make you a little extra cash, right. but not enough to rely on that, to have that really support you. Sure. So for these folks who make jewelry or, or knit fun things and maybe sell them on the side, I think it's a great way to express yourself and to keep you balanced, to keep you happy in, sure. in doing that normal day to day because you have that side job mm -hmm. as kind of a stress reliever at times. Look, I've always been I've always been a fan of always having a backup plan, always having a plan B mm -hmm. because you never know when you're going to need it. You never know. Which is always good. And a lot of these companies, especially for someone who's 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 younger, a lot of these companies, wherever you're working, know that they don't have to pay some of these young folks a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They made these companies make an absolute fortune. They'll tell you that they don't, but they do. They make an absolute fortune and they pay a lot of these younger people no money. Right. Which which obviously, I mean obviously it's business, but it's also not fair to do. So it's always good to have a plan B just in case that moment arises and you get the call and you mm -hmm. know shows over, you got a plan B to move on to to the next gig. Yeah, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. One, I think it, it, it keeps you busy if you want to take on a second or third job. Right. By all means, go for it, especially if it's a, a hobby of some yeah. kind or something that you really love to do or with, if it's with right. a group of people that you really enjoy. Yeah. Uh, I think it's great. I also think that if, if you're going to be working for a place and they're not going to pay you whatever the wage may be mm -hmm. and you need to make extra money after you're done with the job that you have already, if you want to go out and get another job and you've got to work another job to either A, support your family mm -hmm. or just to B, maybe to have a life, Go for it. I don't think they should be able to stop you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Especially too, if you know nothing's right. really nothing, going to suffer. Nothing's going to suffer. Yeah, as Go long for as I can juggle them both, absolutely. Get Brennan, a did did you ever kind of do this side hustle, take on job after job? Sir, I've done multiple jobs at the same time. Although, guys, I'm thinking I'd make a pretty good lounge singer oh, on the side. Yes. What do you think? Yes. You know, yeah. crooning out mm -hmm. the hits of the '50s and '60s. You could be a lounge singer. I'll just lounge. Yeah. <laughs> either way, I would sing them much to the delight and disgust of everybody watching. But it's good to have different things going on. You got to stay busy. Well, are our social media followers out there moving and shaking? What do they do on the side? Let's find out. Katrina Mary is hustling. She says, I work full time in finance, have a jewelry business and teach fitness classes. By spring summer of 2017, I hope to make fitness my full time gig. Good luck to you. Matthew Simcoe adds, you know it. I'm there every month or so hustling it. Yeah, he joins us. He's pursuing his passions. Shana Mendes is also on the lookout. I work at Gillette Stadium. Go Pat but I'm always looking for another career opportunity. And we saunter on over to Twitter where user at Burger outs her friend saying at Big Stress Radio is the king of the hashtag side hustle. Yeah, it's good to stay busy. Thanks for commenting this morning, everybody. And as always, we want to hear what all of you think. So please leave us a comment on our Facebook page. You can also follow us on Twitter at The Road Show or you can catch us on Instagram as well. That also is at The Road Show and it is the spot for a behind the scenes pick and fun from right here on our set.